Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Station Years. In between the episodes, I have a built a little something. You know, I just continued what we basically started and this is the finished room. Well, at least with its functionality. As we can see right now, we have the oxygen, we have water, we have carbon dioxide, we have the nitrogen, volatiles and finally the pollutants. In the comments section, you let me know that the pressure regulators actually take more power than the filtration system. So what I did is I also hooked up the pressure regulators to this button. So now if I enable this, then pressure regulators and filters are going to turn on. What we currently don't have yet is a way to get the gas inside of the system. Now I think for that purpose we could just open up this panel right here and then hook up our pipe that we have. And oh, I guess I haven't really completed this yet. But that's fine. This pipe is what we have to hook up in order to feed the system with the gases. Another thing I would like to do is the furnace room. So I already opened up a panel right here because I believe that's where I want to place my arc furnace. No, it's going to be a normal furnace, one of those guys. And of course it would be great to actually automate it this time. So maybe we can think about that as well. Now, I've run into another problem. I actually added a couple more this place and I wanted to even go further than that and actually calculate everything together in order to be able to display the, you know, overall amount. I wanted like an overall percentage of all the power I have and then the combined watts. Now, the problem with that is we are going to require tons and tons of power in order to achieve that. At the moment, it is uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. So that means the sunlight is going to disappear in three in-game hours. And we really haven't made enough progress with charging up, in my opinion. So maybe I'm actually going to leave this be. This is uh, fairly unnecessary. I can just step into this room in order to get an overall idea of my power. So I guess that means we can actually take apart these guys again. There's going to be lots and lots of processors we don't have to build anymore for the future. I'm going to carefully place you right there. And that means we can also grab the cables back. Yeah, we're just going to leave this be, this idea. Okay, I guess for the time being, I'm not going to patch this up just yet. I want to observe what's happening. And I guess for the next day, we also want a couple more solar panels. At the moment, I have... Uh, how many do I have? It looks like we have about 11 or so. At the moment, I can still place like four or five. Yeah, let's make four more solar panels. Why the heck not? Yeah, we should be good. Four more solar panels. Uh, let's enable this guy. I also hooked this one up again, so I don't always have to get a new battery or so. Let's find the solar panel. Right there. Great. I want four of you. Is there anything else I need? We might want to make some more of the cabling. Though I just removed like over 20 before. So I guess we can use those. My jetpack is too critical at the moment. I'm pretty sure I had some stairs somewhere. But who the heck knows where I put them, man. Hmm, let me see. Maybe to make this easier, we could already start building a ceiling. We have some walls here and some more right there. And I'm just going to build the ceiling for this room a little bit. This is going to make it nicer looking and also more practical because I can walk on top of it. There we go. Great. This room, of course, also requires some lights in the future. I've already installed them in the power room. There we go. I got my stairs back so we can just walk up now. That's one, two, three and four. And last but not least, of course, hook them up with the right type of cabling. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's not good. We got some damage. Do I still have tape? Yes. Okay. Fix leak. <laughs> Man, this is insanity. Let's see. We have to rotate them right 90 degrees. Maybe that is going to help us with the falling down issue. There we go. Heavy cabling is done. We can swap that with normal cabling and do the data input as well. There we go. Now, I of course hope that is definitely going to help. We can see they are already adjusting. All we need is the glass to complete the construction. You take one, you take one, you and you. Beautiful. It's done. So now we have like 15 or so solar panels and hopefully that is going to be enough to uh, charge us up nicely. Okay, what time is it? Three o'clock. Uh, could we do some lighting maybe here? That would be great. 
Mm, I think actually for today I want to have my uh, solution in order to pump in the gases. Uh, soon enough I will also have to exchange my air tank once again, but this should be no problem theoretically because we have an air tank right here full of oxygen. So that really means these lockers are in the way. I should get rid of at least the first one here in order to have some more space. Et voila, said and done, let's get rid of this guy. And now we have enough space, at least for the time being. Good, good, good. So the question is, do we want to take this furnace right here? I mean, there's no reason to keep it here. It's not hooked up or anything. The furnace's new location is gonna be right here, I guess. Uh, is this a good idea? You know, the door could get in the way easily. I think I'm just gonna build it here instead. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Is this also something we should enclose? Actually, that might be worth figuring out. Anyways, what I know we need to do is get the furnace output to hook up with this pipe over here. So maybe that's the next thing we could do. Okay, first things first, we need to take a little curve right here. Uh, whoa, that is not the right curve. There we go, now that makes much more sense. What we could do now is install a valve. I still had one from the previous system, so that's good. Let's try to find the orientation, something like that. Will that make sense? And also, is that going to be reachable from this spot easily? Technically, I guess it's fine, but I want to take it over one more spot. So we're going to go straight for one more spot and then we're going to install the valve. After this point, we can simply go directly into the ground and move to our destination. Let's see, we would have to take the curve right here, make this a straight path and then uh, let me get rid of some panels here. Hmm, does this make sense? We're just gonna sneak back to the wall here. Uh, the wall or the door needs to be hooked up from the other side, the way I placed it. So I guess that's absolutely fine. Let me actually take apart this part of the pipe. Oh no, there must be a hitbox somewhere. Well, I guess we have to take apart the frame first. Oh no, I actually took the wrong tool. I'm such an idiot. Okay, it might have worked. <laughs> but anyways, what we need here is a T-junction hooked up like that. And now it just connected. Beautiful. Okay, this is the output of the furnace hooked up to our filtration system. Now, I would like the furnace room to be completely in the dark. And we probably also need an active vent that we can directly hook up to the filtration system as well. However, there's another thing we need, uh, probably a volume pump and also another pad, like the portable tank pads, so we can get rid of the waste gases from smelting. Let me actually see, it is now at 14 o'clock and... Oh, we're doing better with the power, definitely, oh yeah. Okay, so this is gonna charge up within two or three days, and that's good news. Let me find my volume pump really quickly. Okay, can't find a volume pump or a tank connector, we will have to craft both of these things. Tank connector, yes, one of you. Five iron, that's okay. We also want the volume pump and thinking about it, I might want to make this its separate circuit, though we don't really need a lot of circuitry for it. At least not right now. We could hook it up to the same system as the gases. And oh, darn it, I think my tank connector got lost somewhere. Ah, there we go. <laughs> They fly just everywhere they want, man. Let me see. I would like to have it in this orientation, to be honest with you. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be fine. So they are both in the same system. If I want to get rid of gases with a portable tank, that's how I would do it. So give me back my pipes. Where did I drop them? Uh, probably here. Perfect. Two pipes. <laughs> I have more though. Good. So all we want to do is hook this up to the same output and the filtration system. Okay, so now the question is, will we ever need this switch right here? Or can I, for instance, place it here? Because that would be the logical conclusion on this wall. We can leave both of the batch writers here. All we would have to do is take this switch. I even called it switch. Yeah, this wouldn't be necessary. You know, maybe what I could have is a second switch with a second reader, or writer actually, that is reading from the switch but then influencing this other switch here. Is it even possible to influence switches? That would be good to figure out. Uh, let me build a switch and another I.O. unit. And now we, we cannot directly attach them to the walls, but what we can do is uh, probably attach them to cables. Or we just have them on the floor here as well. Yeah, that actually might be all right as well. I'm just gonna have one switch right there and then we're gonna have uh, the logic writer. Maybe like so. That's all right. 
So this switch should be influencing the other switch and therefore the system hopefully turns on and off as well. Not sure that's gonna work though. Let me hook it up so we can test it. And there we go. Everything is hooked up to the same system. I just dragged the cable over here. Let's get rid of that and take forth a screwdriver. Our input is going to be uh, the switch here. So maybe we rename that. I'm just gonna attach a switch master to it. Okay, let's see. Switch master, please. Thank you. Our output is gonna be the normal switch. It is actually possible and we want to open and close it, I guess. That's the only option we really have. So let's do that. Now, if I flip this, ah, we can see the pressure regulators and the filtration systems have turned on. So we close it again and they have turned off. Now, what happens if I do that? Okay, I can move this independently and then when I open this up, of course, nothing is gonna happen, but that, that makes sense, you know, that's all right. So that already works out exactly the way I wanted it to. Two switches are better, definitely. Good, what is the next step? We also have to hook up the furnace. Where is that input? Right up there, that is so inconvenient. And then also we want a good output, of course. We want the materials directly going towards us. So I guess we could pick these up here and we're gonna place them in a similar fashion. Maybe actually I'm gonna bring this a little further to the front. So give me some more shoots. We have plenty of them. I want to make this face upwards. This way we can easily collect the materials. Another thing I would like to have is an input. Since we have to drag power up here anyways, I could have another shoot bin. Oh, this is actually not working here, but maybe we can attach it one further up. I mean, it's still better than jumping, right? And then we have another straight shoot, just like that. Power critical. Power critical? Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, the sun comes up, which is great. How much power did we lose? Not too much. Look at that. That's still 75% over there. It's just using the power from this unit, first of all. Okay, time to take this cable, hook up the furnace and also the shoot bin. Okay, this took me much longer than I care to admit, but uh, it is also not the most beautiful solution. <laughs> there were just too many issues with the way I have laid this out so that I have to use some trickery. Uh, what we now also have is this volume pump right here, and I believe there's nothing really we can set up here, can we? Ah, of course, we can set like the speed it pumps things out, I guess. So let's just leave it at 100 liters for the time being and I'm also gonna enable this guy. This is probably one of the things that ought to be permanently enabled. Uh, looking at our power, you can see it is definitely getting better now, so I'm glad about that. Let's see what we need. We want to grab our tank right here. Before we do that, let me make a save game. I'm gonna remove you and grab you. Come on. Oh, can I not drag that? Too far away. There you go. Oh my, oh, I'm so glad I actually saved. <laughs> oh my freaking gosh. Uh, my suit is completely gone at this point and probably everything in it. <laughs> oh man, playing with these tanks, it's just, it's crazy. Let me uh, load my world. Yeah, I know, jetpack is critical. What are you gonna do about it? Let's uh, remove this tank and grab it safely this time. Great. <laughs> Ah, oh, just got a lot of physics in games, right? Good, good, good. So I guess we don't even have to actually leave this uh, pump on, to be honest with you. We can just activate it whenever we need it and save a little bit on power this way. So let's go ahead and hook this up. It is facing us, which is perfect. At the moment, we have a little something in there. It's going down because it's distributing itself in the pipes, I guess. Maybe let's take out our tablet so we know for sure. We have, yeah, we have tons of gases right here, but nothing right here, which is perfect. Now, what we want to do is enable this system, I guess. And now the gases are going towards the filtration. That means we would want to enable this switch so that all the gases can actually be pumped inside of the tanks. And you can see the numbers are actually changing. They are going up. Are they going up or down? They're going down. Ah, of course, because they are still filling up the canisters. Totally forgot about that. Uh, yeah, look at that. We are receiving oxygen, for instance. This number is going up. Ah, great. Okay, I love that. Let's analyze this pipe here. Pipe network is already empty and this one here is still not empty. Okay, so I guess we just have to wait until this is done. This takes a little while. Yeah, the last few pascals always take a long time. This is incredible. 
Ah, but now we have nothing in our tank, so let's detach it. I'm gonna grab it again and we want to place it on top of here. And I uh, really need a good solution to get on top of here. I mean, maybe the staircase isn't the worst of ideas, what do you say? And we're gonna attach it right there instead. Ah, this is not good. Not really what I wanted. But I guess for the time being, that's fine. We just need to reattach this tank. Hopefully without any accidents. Et voila, we're ready to fuel up again. In the meantime, we have emptied the system so we can disable the volume pump again. I might want to make this process automatic. And of course, I had to fall down without any fuel in my jetpack. Did we poop enough for some more fuel? Just 799. I guess it's time to make some jetpack fuel. I need to look up what the best mixture is. I'm sure you've already mentioned it, but you know, I tend to forget some things. As a last step, let me just make this a little bit more beautiful so you know what I'm actually going for. I'm also gonna wait for daytime and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, cool. It is uh, 7 o'clock. The sun has just risen and I'm uh, done with my room, more or less. It is now looking clean and all right. I cannot reach the volume mixer though, so this is something we will have to fix the next time. And in order to not forget, I'm actually gonna take apart a little something of this wall here. What else? Right here, of course, we can get into our gas room. And I guess I'm also gonna complete the ceiling right here, even though we're not gonna get any more daylight. Actually, we could set up a couple of windows. That wouldn't hurt too much. Yeah, there we go. This room is also sealed off. I'm gonna have a door that comes in from here, and then we're gonna have another door in order to get to the gas room if we want to. But that is basically it. I think at this note, we're actually going to wrap it up for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.